All right, guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk about tech topics in under five minutes. Today, we're going to talk about my top five non-technical interview tips for acing that interview. Quick note before we start, I now have a Discord server that I'll be linking down below. Come out and join us for anything that you might want to talk about, any questions that you may have. It'll be really fun, so make sure you join. All right, so this is a video about non-technical tips and tricks for interviews that I've sort of come up with along the years that I've interviewed. Um, if you're interested in a technical video, I do plan on coming out with one of those. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so you know when that's ready. All right, so my first tip I've sort of mentioned before in a previous video, but basically my first tip would be to look up your interviewers on LinkedIn. I would say that there are two good reasons for doing this. One, you want to sort of get a gauge of who your interviewer is. Um, did they just start working or are they like a senior software engineer? Have they been working a long time? And all of this can be really helpful in formulating what kind of interesting questions that you want to ask your interviewer. Second, it's important to realize that interviews are about making connections, right? You want your interviewer to like you. You want them to connect with you. Like you want them to hire you at the end of the day. So talk about the experiences that you guys may share together. For example, if you realize that your interviewer used to work as an iOS developer at their previous company, then you might want to bring up an iOS project that you've done recently that will kind of allow you guys to bond together and make them like you more. All right, tip number two. And this one's honestly so easy, it's dead simple. I don't know why more people aren't doing this, but it's to email your recruiter before your interview about the format of the interview. At the time that I was interviewing, not a lot of companies were asking new grads system design. And that makes sense, right? Because system design is sort of something that you pick up along the job as you work. And not many people expect new grads to know it right off the bat, much less test well for it. But when I was interviewing at the company that I'm currently working at, I happened to email the recruiter before the interview and I was like, hey, what kind of interviews can I expect? And she said, there will be a coding round, there will be a behavioral round, and there will be a system design round. So at this point, I knew I needed to study system design. All right, so my third tip would be to send follow-up emails to everybody that I interviewed with that day. And I know that there's a little bit of debate about this and whether or not you should do this with some interviewers just not liking it at all. But personally, if I was interviewing someone and they sent me a follow-up letter thanking me for my time, then I would really appreciate it and I would view them more positively than before. So for example, in one of my interviews, um, the question was, how can you speed up your database queries? And at the time, I didn't know about indexes. So in my interview, I was like, hmm, I'm not really sure. But after the interview was done, I went home and I looked it up and I emailed the person and I was like, thanks for taking the time to talk with me today. I looked up your question online and we can add some indexes to our columns and that would really speed up our queries. And I think that really helped me get to the next round. Of course, don't do this in a creepy way where you're guessing the interviewer's email. Instead, what you should do is you should either ask the interviewer for permission themselves, like, can I get your email? I would love to follow up with you about this after the interview is done. Or you could ask the recruiter, like, hey, I talked to blah, blah, blah today, and I would love to send them a thank you message. Can I have their email? All right, for tip number four, and this one is huge, and I cannot stress this one enough, but it is to research the company that you are interviewing at before your interview. And as an interviewer, I can definitely tell you that I love it, love it, love it when candidates are able to come into the interview and show that they have done more than just surface level research. Definitely weave in your knowledge of the company in a way that's very obvious to the interviewer. So a lot of interviewers will ask you whether you have any questions for him or her at the end of the interview. And this is the time when you can ask really deep and probing questions about the company and demonstrate your knowledge. All right, for tip number five, I don't really know if I should consider this a tip because there's no actionable data to prove that it works. This is just sort of something that I like to follow, but it's that I never ever schedule interviews on Monday. I usually always choose Thursday or Friday. And then I actually I kind of just work backwards in that order. So Thursday or Friday, and then Wednesday if those aren't available, and then Tuesday, Monday, because honestly, I would like my interviewers to be in the best mood that they can be, which is usually correlated with a Friday. Yeah, no Monday interviews for me ever. This is one of those things where you can't prove it works, but you can't prove it doesn't work. So take it how you will. All right, so those are my top five non-technical interview tips. Of course, they're not a substitute for actually knowing the subject material itself. Um, so definitely still put in the work and put in the practice and good luck guys. All right, so that's all the time that we have for this episode. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below with what sort of tips that you've used in your interviews that you found helpful or what have you found not helpful. I look forward to hearing all of them. See you guys next time.